So anybody that watches this workout is, you're not gonna see any like crazy fancy stuff. There's no crazy drills involved. But for Zach, because he understands what his shot is and what he needs to continuously work on, you can take any game-like action and you can work on that deliberately, right? So it's not always about how flashy something is. Somebody watching from the sidelines could, could look, watch him work out and be like, oh, he's just taking catch and shoot, or catch and shoot jump shots, jump shots on the move. But in his mind, he could be working on how are my hands positioned? Where's my balance? How's my sequence? How's my level? Like there's so many little parts that he can work on within traditional like drills that he's getting better each day because of how deliberate he's being about it. So that's, that's the big key at the end of the day. Good. Sequence, but also keeping that ball in front. So him being able to just start super deliberate like this each time and just working on that one, two, through while it chops up the jump shot, it still allows him to feel certain points in time and basically what we're going to try to do today is just reproduce the same shot path but in a more, in a more sped up way. Because ultimately we want to go through these same points but then just be able to just move, move through them rather than stop at them. Three. Four. Five, good. So now stay there and then we'll just go slow through it. So now the goal being keep the ball in motion. Don't let the ball really come to a stop. But also attach our legs at the right time. So Zach, we've found at times we'll still move the ball first. But that ball won't get to its same position when he stops at the two. And because it doesn't get to that same position as when he stops at the two and if his legs attach too early, the ball ends up still going higher or backwards. And because that happens, he kind of loses out on the benefit of how he can best create energy and ends up with this kind of weird direction change at the top of the shot. So everything just comes down to kind of getting that elbow to the rim. For him, keeping body down, but then when the body does attach, everything has to go forward. Game ball here. Six, excellent. So let's go foul line. Everything to the basket. Chopper. So on the drops, we just add a little bit more of a dynamic movement to the equation but then also challenge him then to keep that ball moving in front, not changing directions, and hoping that everything sequences the right way. So as simple as drops are, it's enough to add enough movement into everything that we kind of get a little bit more game realistic, you know, in a sense, but also it's allowing us to feel our connection to the floor can we get more full foot to the floor so we can be completely balanced? So when he drops, that goal is to have his shoulders be where they are when he's standing tall, to being in pretty much the same exact place as relative to compared to the floor when he drops. Full foot down, get balanced. Good. Shoot. Really lock out that finish, Zach. Over-exaggerate it, keep everything in front. Nice. So we'll go. Ball stays in that one, chest up. Heel toe, heel toe, shot. Don't just dig your toes in the ground. Heel toe each time. And then with the more movement we're adding here, so we challenge balance and then sequence, obviously. Let that ball lead the way. Good. Don't pull away. Everything to the basket. Good. 
Chu. Ah, stay up. Nice. Five. Five more, Zach. Six. Eight. Dos mas. Move that ball, Zach. Don't slow it down. Feet hit, ball moves. Hands already in that position. Get it moving. Good. Ball moves faster, sequence stays the same. Beautiful. Eyes up. Who is that? It's nice there, but two more. Initiate contact with that ball, drop straight down. Find your balance as soon as possible. Still try to have those hands ready. And in that one position before feet hit the ground. Zach, drop that level just a little bit more, even with it being mid-range. Good. So the more we go out and we initiate contact with that basketball, the more we're able to get to our one position, which then affords us the ability to move the ball in a straighter and straighter line. So each time Zach's trying to get to that one and then move that ball in a straight line up there through the shot. And it won't be perfect all the time. We're never gonna be able to always have those, those perfect shot lines, but if we're always thinking about initiating contact with the basketball, we at least set ourselves up for, for more success versus the latter. Nice job. Four more. Good. Put to the ground, get balanced straight down. Beautiful, Zach. One. Way to bring that ball back to the one. Three. Four. Good. We'll go foul line. Everything to the basket. Chopper. Big drop. Good job. Hold that finish at the end, Zach. Two. Four. Hold that finish. Seven. Game ball. Eight. You hit this drop here, really raise it. And then once you hit that drop. Yeah. And then don't. Yeah. But don't, don't come out of your level. No, no, no. Slide. Drop. Drop. Don't come out of the level. Good. Six. 
As soon as you take that step, get down. The second one, you're here. As soon as, drop. Quick, quick. Then get balanced. There you go. Three. Good hold. Raise. Come on, fight through. Two more. Good hands. Let yourself really plant into that ground. Wide here. Yeah, excellent. We need two. We need two, Zach. Don't hold. Hold your hands. Game ball. Good. Get to your one ASAP, and then see. let's see how straight up and down you can get. Hold the finish on each shot. Larry would have made it. Larry would have made that shot. Go to your one with purpose, though. It's too, it's too, it's that, it's that same thing that you do off the dribble sometimes, where it's too light. That ball comes here, pull at it, get there, have everything else waiting on it. So then when you hit, move that ball quick. Don't slow it down on the way through. One, two, through. That was much better, though. Good, Zach. This one's going down. Those last two were really good. That's where you want to be. Stay. See how straight up and down you can go. Whoa. Balance first. Hold this hold the finish second. Balance first. There you go. Get home, get home, get home. Good. Slowing down at the top, Zach. Get that ball moving. Don't slow it down. Good. Pulling back at the top. Keep everything in front. Better. Yeah. You should feel a difference in how it even comes out of your hand. If you keep it in front versus if it just pulls behind a little bit. Just keep exaggerating it in front and then hold that finish. Hold yourself accountable with it. There you go. Two more. Game ball here. Guaranteed miss right here. Watch, no matter what, it's a guaranteed miss. I'll show you why. Never makes the, the, the behind contest every time. He'll make this one because I'm not there. See? There you go. Better. Good job. Sequence is going to have to get faster. Stay the same, but faster. One. 
Don't drop your hands, bro. Last rep, best rep. Good job. Hold your finish on each shot. Go home. Go home. Let's go straight down. See if you can do it without turning the body. That was better. One, last two. Thank you. 